Increasing numbers of people seem to be realizing that we are living under totalitarianism. Whether you want to classify that as communism or fascism, or doesn't matter, technocracy, technofascism, what it all comes down to is totalitarianism. I was trying to find a great definition of totalitarianism for you, but I mean, they're kind of all over the place. The one thing that unites them is that totalitarianism demands of you total allegiance in every area of your life to the prevailing ideology, to the power structure, to the state. Whether that state is local or global, it doesn't really matter. And in this case, we are looking at a global totalitarianism and it is put upon us under the guise of this medical tyranny. Okay. We need to make the violence of the new normal visible. We have to acknowledge that they are acting with violence or threats of violence when they come up on us in every part of our lives and expect us to deny the, the natural law, the reality, to expect us to just dance when they say dance. Every time we do that, so as to be polite and good, we are making a mistake. We are entrenching the totalitarianism. I mean, didn't Derek Prince say that it's human nature to, to grab onto a little set of rules and then we measure how good we are by this little set of rules. He called it a crutch. This little set of rules is a crutch. It doesn't help you. It hurts you. Because you can say, oh, well, see, I was a good girl. I, I didn't I didn't fight with that person. I just let them I was the bigger person. I just let them do whatever they wanted because it wasn't worth it. It is worth it. Get rid of your little set of rules like manners or agreeability, compliance, obedience, willingness to 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 give up what you want to 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 please someone else. In, in this compromise, a tozer talked about the compromise. You can't compromise with a force of evil. Otherwise, you're just letting evil fester there in the mix. We need to be uncompromising. We are not to be those tabby cats. I thought it was really interesting when Tozer talked about, um, he said that the opposing force realized at some point that killing Christians just made more of them. So they stopped killing us and they started wooing us with this dialogue and all of the little chipping away at the strength and the power that comes from being in grace, being walking with the Holy Spirit as your ultimate guide. That's powerful. And of course, the totalitarians don't like that one bit. And the part I ended on was so powerful. He says, are you having trouble at your work? Are people making it hard for you? You should thank God every night when the whistle blows because you have been chosen to fight this fight. You're strong enough. You wouldn't want to get along easily in this fallen world. Derek Prince basically says the same thing. Both men are telling you that when you do good works, you will be challenged. Derek Prince puts it in terms of a vine. He says, Jesus is the vine. We are the branches. The Holy Spirit will bring the fruit, will bear the fruit if you are walking with him in, in grace. And so what comes along? You might, you might pay consequences. And Derek Prince says that is God pruning the vine. In fact, it's right in the Bible. Jesus warns us if we do good works and we have the fruit of the Holy Spirit on our branches, God will prune you 